This is Nothing Nice Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in. A group of friends located across the great state of Minnesota, sharing their passion for the outdoors. Rain, snow, sleet, or shine, we take you along as we pursue our passion and take our mission to heart. We can't always have the best gear, but what makes us successful is sheer dedication. Together, we call ourselves the Nothing Nice Outdoors Team. Follow us on Facebook and on the web at nothingniceoutdoors.com. Southeast Minnesota, opening day of trout fishing. We are down here, I believe on the North Branch Whitewater River. And, I don't know, it's probably around 11 o'clock or so. Got kind of a late start today, but what a beautiful day. This beats the weather up north for sure. We're gonna be doing a little fly fishing down here this weekend. Um, I'm gonna show you here what I'm gonna start with. You saw a quick little video of it. It's called a hare's ear. And what it is, it's a small fly I've tied. You can buy them in stores too, it doesn't matter. The one I'm gonna start with here today is a size 16, and that refers to the hook size, and it has a bead head on it. I'll give you a quick view of that. I want it fishing as soon as I possibly can. I don't wanna do a lot of waiting around, waiting for things to sink, that sort of thing. A lot of fly fishermen, fishermen or whatever do, they do just use a fly and no weight at all. And you do lose a little fishing because it takes some time for that bait to sink down to bottom. So I'm gonna fish a bit here and hopefully we can get a few fish. I was able to get that one um, and then I broke off but did catch the one it was a decent one and uh, hopefully we can get a few more a lot of fun one more thing I forgot to mention is I'm using a strike indicator or in the spinning world of fishing it's called a bobber same thing anything that you use to tell you that you've got a bite or a hit or something goofy is going on on the other end of the line that's that orange piece of plastic that you saw drifting down. That one is called a thingamabobber, and you can use whatever you want. This is the one that I choose. I like it. It doesn't work for everybody, but find what you like and throw it on there, and it makes fishing a lot easier, I think, especially when you're drifting nymphs and you want to fish it as long as you possibly can.
I'm gonna show you guys here what I was fishing. This is a really good spot for me. I just caught, oh, I don't know, five lost one. Um, what it is is, here's some riffles right here. Got the riffles coming in. Up ahead is just flat water coming down. Hits these riffles, comes down, and then it gets deeper right in here, right at the base of these riffles. Then it goes down along. And you can see down here it flattens out a little bit. There's still some riffly area, it's still deep. Um, this is what we call a run. It's kind of deeper water. If I were to get out in there, it's maybe, oh, I don't know, just above the knee, that kind of depth. Um, anyways, what I was doing, I was throwing it right up in here, letting it drift down, and right in here is where I was getting my bites. Uh, then even when I first showed up here, I fished down by those rocks. Got a couple bites there right away. But it's been a really good spot and uh, hopefully I can get a couple more. Well, what did you find yourself there? Oh, a little, uh, a little brown trout. Oh, that's a nice brown. I don't think he's so little. Where is your hook at? Snagged in the mat. Oh. Hold on one second here. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one.
Well, it was a good weekend. It's time to pack her in. It's about one o'clock on Sunday. Overall, we had a good weekend. We caught a lot of fish. Got into a little nymph fishing, doing the indicator thing. And today is Sunday and we got into some dry fly fishing. Nice temperatures, water warmed up. Caddis fly were coming off the water a little bit. It's always a fun bite to get on is when they're coming up on top. That's what every fly fisher lives for. So overall, great weekend. Can't wait to come back.